Andrew here with the Old Toby Podcast. I wanted to talk a little bit today about the basics of pipe smoking. Uh, some of you watching may have smelled the aroma of a pipe and thought, boy, I'd live, really like to give that a try. Uh, some of you may have tried pipe smoking and given up out of frustration. Maybe you just couldn't keep the thing lit. And some of you may have tried it, smoked it for a while, and decided, you know, this just isn't for me. Hopefully I can rekindle your interest and encourage you to give it another try. Uh, to start, you're going to need, well, a pipe. Kind of hard to smoke a pipe without a pipe. So let's take a look at some of the different materials that pipes are made from. We'll also look at a few of the different shapes. This pipe right here is made of briar. Um, most pipes are made of briar. They're made of something called burl briar. Uh, briar is a tree and the, the burl is actually the root of the tree. Um, it's the big knobby portion uh, that's right under the, the base of the tree when you dig it up. They use this portion because it's a very dense wood. It has very straight grain. Uh, sometimes it has something called bird's eye grain, which are little dots all over the place. Very, very gorgeous grain. It's very dense and it works very well for smoking pipes. So briar is your most, your most common uh, material that pipes are made from. Probably the second most common material is something called meerschaum. Uh, meerschaum is a stone that comes from Turkey. It's the only place that is allowed to import uh, meerschaum and I think it's the only place you can find meerschaum so kind of hard to import it if you don't have it. Uh, meerschaum is a white stone. It's a very soft stone so it's easy to carve and it usually comes in all sorts of different shapes and uh, sizes. Uh, meerschaum pipes also come in church warden style which is church wardens are the longer stems so a little bit different you got two different style meerschaums there. Uh, the meerschaum pipes are kind of interesting because as you smoke them they will actually change color. They'll change to deep browns, deep blacks, uh, oranges, um, sometimes reds, uh, depending on how long you smoke them, how often you smoke them, they'll change colors for you. Another material is a plastic or acrylic. This here uh, will also come in metal. And this pipe is kind of interesting. It comes with an interchangeable bowl on the top. You can buy all sorts of different bowls and just change it out with this. The reason they did this was basically to give you different styles of pipes make it a little bit easier, but also because briar is only meant to be smoked one time a day. Uh, pipes are filters, and so you don't want to smoke them too often because the moisture uh, gets sucked into the pipe itself, and you can actually ruin a pipe or burn a hole through the side by smoking it too often. So once, maybe twice a day is, is good to smoke a pipe. Briar pipes, that is. This one here is made out of horn. It's made out of elk horn. Uh, this little piece on top is actually a wind cap and the wind cap keeps the ashes from blowing out and starting fires elsewhere. I believe in Germany you have to have wind caps in order to smoke pipes. This one's also made of briar, um, but just a different style wind cap on it. This is a uh, wind cap that will go on just about any pipe. You can pick these up at your tobacconist for about a dollar, maybe two dollars some places. Another material, corn cob. Uh, corn cobs come in different shapes, different sizes. There's three of them there, and sometimes different colors. Uh, there's a blue one there for you. Sometimes you can get them in reds, greens. Um, often they're dyed or painted by other people, uh, so you want to kind of be careful uh, when you're purchasing one because if they use a toxic chemical to dye the pipe and you're smoking that, you don't want to inhale the fumes. Uh, one of the least common uh, materials for making pipes is actually clay. Um, clay, they call these tavern pipes. Um, usually the tavern pipes are much longer, uh, but clays are pretty much, clay is pretty much your standard material for a tavern pipe. Uh, these two will also change color, which is the reason for the interchangeable bowls here. So when this one uh, gets smoked too often, maybe it breaks on you or cracks, all you got to do is change the bowls out. It's got a little bamboo stem in there. Um, these are least, probably one of the least common materials that pipes are made from. They get extremely hot when you smoke them, so you have to hold them by the stem when you smoke them. That pretty much covers the basic materials of pipes. Um, hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, what to look for when you're purchasing a pipe and the different materials that, you're, that you'll come by. Andrew here with the Old Toby Podcast. I just wanted to thank you for watching this video and encourage you to go over to www.oldtoby.com to check out one of the world's only free pipe and tobacco podcasts. You can download the radio show or you can listen to a live stream of it. Check out the forums, check out tobacco reviews, and even talk to some pipe carvers and others interested in the nostalgic pastime of pipe smoking. Thanks for watching.